All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Downloader's Digest, episode four. Well, I guess this is episode two, but whatever. Uh, this is section four, or part four, or whatever you want to say, update four. Um, today, I want to be discussing with you Assassin's Creed Three. Yes. I don't know about you guys, but I have been waiting for this game way too long, and October 31st cannot come fast enough. Um, it's going to be coming out on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. Uh, first I'm going to talk about Connor's history. Yes, his history. Um, the reason Connor became an assassin. Well, whenever he was younger, he faced injustice, just like this. You know, this is injustice right here. And he wanted to fight against it. So, he figured in order to do that, he had to join the assassins. And he embarks on this great journey and everything, and we follow him through 30 years of his lifetime. Although the revolution does take up some of that, it doesn't take up his entire life. You know, the, the revolution is, although it's a big part, it's, it's, it's not the biggest piece of him. Um, so yeah, here's his homestead and everything, that's where people come to chill and hang out with him, you know. Have good times. <clears throat> um, navigating your terrain. Yeah, uh, getting through the city and everything is a lot more different. It, they, it, it's more advanced now, I guess you could say. Uh, here we see him climbing some trees like a boss, you know, swinging around. Uh, in the last one, you just held the right trigger and A to run around and do everything. But in this one, when you're running through trees, in order to stop yourself from jumping down to the ground, which happened a lot in the past ones, whenever you were running on top of buildings, you accidentally... Boom! You hit the ground and you lose almost all your health, and it's so irritating. In this one, you know, you just hold the right trigger and you run full speed across trees. Um, you can climb a lot more than you could in the last one. Uh, almost everything is climbable, actually. Uh, here he is, stalking some people in trees. Uh, with Eagle Vision, you can actually stalk people, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, climbing mountains is a new one. That's That was a big thing, you know, climbing trees and mountains. You know. Whenever we're younger, we climb big rocks and big trees and whatnot, so why couldn't a highly skilled and highly trained assassin do it? Um, so yeah, this is kind of like a little camp for soldiers. Uh, now we'll discuss combat. Connor is very advanced at dual wield, you know, two-handed combat. Uh, the British soldiers really, they cannot keep up with you. Uh, some of the s kills you can do are just, they're just gross, really. Not, not gross as an ew, but just so awesome. You can mow your way through 20, 30 guards with ease, as long as you know how to do it. You can get up some pretty long streaks. Here we see the uh, rope dart, and you see the bone arrow on his back. But he's using the rope dart, and what he's going to do is he's going to hang that guy and kind of use it as a pulley system so he can land safely on the ground. Uh, here we see him rushing towards some redcoats. I'm going to get you, redcoats. Uh, he stabbed someone in the back while shooting one of his friends. Uh, like I said, you know, he's good at dual wielding, so he can attack two people simultaneously. There he is. Being awesome. Uh, yeah, so his combat skills are crazy. Now we have animals and hunting and stuff like that. Uh, as you can see, moose, rabbit, fox, stuff like that. Th that's only a very small variety of what you can face. You, you hunt a lot. Of course, they're bringing back horses, as you already saw, because the frontier is 2.5 times bigger than Rome, which was the biggest map ever Assassin's Creed ever had. Uh, there's a bald eagle, of course, you know, America's eagle. Uh, it's, it's, it's their symbol. Uh, oh my god, a bear! You fight bears? Whoa! Crazy, right? Um, but no, bears, it's estimated to take 12 to 18 minutes to fight a bear, yeah. And there's a, uh, there's a deer that he just shot, and he's running it down, you know, trying to outrun it and everything, catch up and skin it and do whatever he needs to. Uh, wolves. Wolves will attack you in packs, which that makes them more dangerous, especially considering enemies attack two at a time now. So you gotta watch those wolves, because they're evil. Sea adventures. You can now get on the seas. Yes. A very big part of the revolution was seaward battles. 
Not only did trade come, but so did adventure. I mean, la. Not only did they use the sea to trade, but they also used it to invade. Um, here we see some navigation. You you control the ship and everything. You control you control the crew. You you control what they do and everything. You give out orders. It's really cool. You fight enemy ships, and the battles are just epic. Here we see a volley of ex just amazingness. Uh, <laughs> a volley of cannonballs just about to wreck that ship, as you can see. Um, here he is, looking cool and stoic with his telescope. Uh, in the sea, you can roam around in the sea, but you know you can expect to be bolstered with waves and whatnot. Uh, secret areas, yes, everyone's favorite, uh, they've had them from 2 until now, they're bringing them back, the, they said that they're going to be a little bit different, but they're still going to have the secret areas because people just loved them because of the puzzles and everything that you found within them. So, uh, yeah, I, I thought that was really cool and everything. Um, so that's about all I got. Uh, see you next time.